Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new uh, Bath and Body, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bath and Body Works, um, what I call, I don't know what the official name of this collection is, um, because it's like, it's two of them. So it's the Endless Sea and Wild Sand collection that they brought out. And then it's the Faceted collection that they brought out. And they're separate, but I'm, I lump them in together because this is like, from when I've been shopping, all the times I've been shopping, all the years I've been shopping at Bath and Body Works, this is their segue into fall this is their transition into fall because you know they're not going to put out fall fragrances right now they're putting out the fall candles and everything home decor you know halloween fall but not fragrances usually i've noticed that's like late july maybe august around that time where you start getting the fragrances the the fall fragrances collection so this is what i call their transition to fall last summer collection but i don't know the official name of it so before i get started on the faceted collection we're going to talk about it i wanted to quickly review the endless sea and wild sand again if you it's not going to be in depth so if you haven't seen my review on these two fragrance smiths i will link it above check it out because i just since this is you know this is six mist including the faceted collection and i said well i just want to just you know i think my i think my last video of this was my first impression so i just wanted to give you a little update because i don't know when we're going to be talking about fragrance smiths from bath and body works on my channel as we're in regards to new fragrances i think it's going to be a minute so i was like let me just do a quick update so the first one is endless sea and this has notes of fresh bergamot salt water lily and ocean driftwood and my thoughts are still the same on this this is light it's a light airy floral aquatic fragrance it does have a little bit of that oceany well, that's aquatic. That ocean driftwood kind of scent. To me, it's got a little powderiness. It's a little musky. If you like... Okay, when I first sprayed this, I like this on the dry down. Initially, that lily... Is it lily? Yeah, that saltwater lily, I don't like it. It reminds me of Aqua Kiss a little bit from Victoria's Secret. That floral aquatic to me has to be done absolutely perfectly for me to like it. If it doesn't blend and mesh and dry down well, I don't like that in these fragrance mists. But Endless Sea, I do like. Um, it's really good in my opinion. It's not anything I would call super unique. Um, I still feel the same way on my first impressions with this one. I just wanted to update you. Now, we finally know the prices of this uh, collection. These are $17.95. Now, if I have quite a few rewards, okay, from SAS. So, if this was $16.95, I would get a full bottle of this in a heartbeat because it is pretty. I do like it. I like those aquatic fragrances. But at $17.95, I'm not going to rush out and get it at all. Number one, I have a lot of I have a lot of fragrances in all category. Whatever category of fragrance you want to list, I have a lot of. So I'm not I'm not getting ready to go pay $18 for this. Um, now if they have a fragrance smith sale where it's five dollars or something, which I can't foresee that happening really soon because SAS is still going on, and you know you can get fragrance smiths for the low low. I don't see that happening anytime soon but if it did i would but i'm not paying full price for this so i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy the uh travel size that i got for four dollars and when there is a sale on endless sea i would i would get it because i do really enjoy it now 
they have a perfume in this. Would I want this in a perfume? And you, Bath and Body Works perfumes, the only one, I only have full size in my collection now after SAS 4. I'm not a big Bath and Body Works perfume purchaser. It's usually only during semi-annual sale. The only perfume I ever purchased from Bath and Body Works with a discount I had a coupon and they had a sale. It was uh, Coco, what did it call? Coco Paradise. Because, I, I don't know. I, Bath and Body Works, I don't know. Their perfume just doesn't tend to grab me. Because their fragrance mist I use for layering and with my perfume. So usually I'm not trying to purchase a Bath and Body Works perfume unless it's a great discount but regular price I, I i don't i don't pay that for bath and body works perfume now let me smell this and see if i would even want it in a perfume you know i would like this in a perfume because i don't as i'm sitting here going through my collection i don't have a ton i don't even think i could list five off the top of my head that have this scent DNA. I don't even think I have five. That's that light, airy, aquatic, clean scent. I don't have that many. So I would like this in a perfume. Would this be one that I would pay full price for that perfume? No. I have a 20% off coupon. I don't know if it's worth it yet for me to do 20% off of that one. We'll have to see. I, I'm, I don't like coupons to go to waste. Sometimes they do or I'll let somebody else have it. If there's, I like to keep hold of my coupons till the, <laughs> until it's nearing the end just in case Bath & Body Works releases something that I want to review for my channel. So... If they don't, like I'm saying, I'm waiting to see, is are they gonna bring Coco Shea? When is that supposed to come? The water collection, I, that's the one I'm really waiting on. I hope that one really comes back. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one to just quickly use my coupon. So I'm gonna wait and see if, if neither one of those comes out or unless they decide to surprise us with another collection with some fragrance mist, which I would be shocked because they usually don't this I feel like is it for summer. I might would I might would use the 20% off to get this perfume. I might. It's a big might because still that's I don't know. With Bath and Body Works perfumes and they're not bad perfumes. It's just I don't like paying full price for anything. I like SAS prices for perfumes. Victoria's Secret, I don't pay full price for the perfumes. It has to be deeply discounted. So we shall see. But for me, this is still, I really like it. I don't know if it's still my favorite between these two. Let me, let's talk about Wild Sand and then I'll let you all know. So Wild Sand has notes of prickly pear fruit, cactus flower, and warm agave nectar. Now when I first smelled this, I thought it, it smelled nice but familiar. Let me see if I still th feel the same way. This still does smell familiar to me, but it smells really good. This is very perfumey. It's, it's perfumey, fruity warm uh, i heard uh, kia v mention that she thought it gave that baccarat 540 vibe and it somewhat does but it still also kind of reminds me i asked my brother because he loves that uh loves always wins fragrance mist and I said, well, does this smell similar to you? Because in my initial video, I was like, I think it, it smelled similar to me. He said, no, I still feel like it's similar, but this is more of the wild sand is more of the perfumey. It's to me, unisex cologne, perfumey um, fragrance smiths, whereas love always wins is more, it smells to me of a fragrance mist, not that that's bad but this has that perfumey cologne very aromatic um quality to it while sans does 
this is one, it smells so familiar to me that I still feel like Endless Sea is my favorite between the two. Now, this is still really good, and I would like a full bottle of this, but let me tell you my caveat. This smells so similar and familiar to me to other fragrance smiths, and once Kid V said that, I can kind of get that also, that Baccarat vibe, which I have fragrance smiths that smell like that. So this, while saying for me and with my larger collection, it smells similar to a lot. So even if I could use my reward on this to get a full size, I wouldn't. This would have to be something, you know, $3.95 at SAS, uh, $5 if I really you know, just was in the mood to get something, but it's not high up on my list to where I feel like I really want a full bottle of this because I feel like while I might not have this exact fragrance, I have more, I have fragrance mist and perfume with this fragrance DNA. So I don't feel like it's one I really, really need to get. The perfume, what I want the perfume, no, I, I don't think so. Not at 20% off. At, you know, if you give me a great discount, yeah. But at 20% off, I don't think so. So at this time, I still like them both. But Endless Sea for me, and maybe it's because it's the summer. Maybe it's because it's getting ready to get to July and then August. And you know, just stifling heat that I'm really liking this one and thinking about the perfume in this one. Whereas this is more perfumey. And usually when it gets to July, August, I'm not really gravitating towards perfumey. I tend to gravitate towards a very light, very airy, nice smelling uh, fragrances. Whereas this one, Wild Sand, I always wanna say Wild Sands. Yeah, this one packs a punch. It's not airy, it's perfumey. And it's unisex cologne perfumey vibes. That's what I mean. It, it, that's what I'm saying, perfumey and cologne, because it's, it's to me perfectly unisex down the middle, but it has that, it doesn't have that fragrance smith super airy quality. I, he, it, I wanna make sure you know it has that perfumey quality. But it is nice, but Endless Sea is still the one for me. Okay, next we're going to talk about these the faceted collection so the faceted collection is 1895 they brought out four fragrance mist three are repackaged and i am not purchasing the repackaged fragrances and i'll get into why for one okay it's it's one i might purchase but again, I'm not paying $18.95 for it. I'm not paying buy three, get one free because it's not enough that I want to act where I can even buy three and get one free. And because that deal sucks, I don't ever do buy three, get one free. I don't want to do buy three, get three free because it's not enough I want at this time from Bath and Body Works. I just, it's not. So it would have to be on a sale. And I will tell you the one that I'm leaning towards getting um getting it for my collection so the first one we're going to talk about is cactus blossom like i said i don't have the original packaging this is the packaging i have and i actually prefer this packaging cactus blossom has notes of cactus flower petals sun-kissed coconut and fresh sparkling lemon this fragrance mist has always been a little difficult a little tricky for me to review to explain when I smell it it's very the easiest way for me to describe this, this is what I get this to me cactus flower gives me floral coconut powder musk that is what I get it's a little, when you first spray this to me, it's a little harsh, like astringent kind of harsh. Maybe that's that lemon that's coming out. 
And at first I was like, I don't know about this because I got this at a semi-annual sale and I couldn't resist this hot pink faceted packaging. And I had this in a pocket bag and I would use it and people, we I went out to dinner with some friends and I was like, here, y'all wanna use this? Uh, Cause I'm, you know, I'm using mine. And they were like, this smells so good. And by using the pocket bag, it helped me fall in love with the fragrance mist. Because on initial spray, you have to give this time. It is very harsh and astringent to me when I first smell it. But on the dry down, it's to me a very unique floral, it's a citrus floral coconut powdery musk fragrance. Perfumey also. You, when you smell this, you wouldn't think of your typical average uh, Bath and Body Works fragrance mist. If you're somebody who doesn't frequent Bath and Body Works regularly, you probably think, because I have a friend, she thinks, oh, it's just fruity, candy, fluffy, you know, teenager scents. So if you have that viewpoint of Bath and Body Works fragrance mist, this would blow your mind because it doesn't smell anything like that. To me, it smells high, high end, it smells different, but you gotta let it get through that opening and get to the mid, the dry down, it softens. And like I said, the best way for me to describe this is a somewhat citrus, because the citrus to me, that lemon note doesn't stay throughout. It's kind of a blast in your face in the beginning with maybe softer edges way in the background throughout the fragrance, but it's more of a floral coconut powdery musk. And it is unique to me, it is unique. And another thing with me that I've noticed, which you're gonna talk about with another fragrance mist, is that if I've had a fragrance mist in candle form, sometimes it, Sometimes I don't like it at all in body care, or sometimes it takes me a minute. So I used to have this candle all the time. I think I bought one during this uh, summer sass. I think I bought Cactus Blossom. Great candle. Happened with Champagne Toast too. Took me years to want to get it in body care. I don't know, I don't know why I get like that, but May, I, that's part of the reason why I'm thinking with me that it took me some time to like Cactus Blossom and body care. So Cactus Blossom, do I want to get a backup of this in the new packaging? No, I don't. I feel like I'm good with this. I, this is not one. I don't think I got the freight. I don't think I got the body cream. I got the lotion. So I don't feel like I have to rush and use it and you know, to make sure the body cream doesn't go bad. I feel like I'm good with one of these because it's while it's unique and I like it and I really enjoy it, it's not on that level. I always reference Twinkling Nights about that special level for me. It's not there. I don't feel this is backup worthy at this time in my life. Now, by the time, let's say, a winter sass rolls around and they might have some of these, if I've used a lot of this or if I've used this up or, you know, then I might say, okay. But at this time, I feel like I'm so good with Cactus Blossom, even though it is a great fragrance. And I did check, they're all the same fragrance notes to make sure, because I'm, I'm not gonna purchase uh, 19, uh, you know, let's just almost $20 for a fragrance mist that I already have just to say, is it a little bit different? Because different batches of when they release a fragrance can smell a little different until they all kind of sit for a minute. So I I'm not doing that. But from this Cactus Blossom with the same nose, I think this is the second time when I got this, this was the second time they brought Cactus Blossom back. So now it's the third time. I, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be the same. So I like it, but I don't plan on purchasing the new packaging of it at this time. Okay, the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Sensual Amber. This has notes of golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandal wood. This is one I either purchased 
on one of my rare online orders from Bath and Body Works or I got it during SAS or I got it in store during SAS. So I have two of these. So this has, let me spray, it's been a minute since I've worn this. Um, I can still smell it, but it's kind of faint. The packaging for Sensual Amber to me does look better than this packaging. And for some reason, I side note while that's airing out, I keep these in a drawer. And this, this packaging right here is bubbling. And then I noticed my Pinkberry Clouds from Beth, that fragrance mist is peeling off. I've never had that happen. And I noticed this one bubbling. And I think that other one was leaking. So I took that out of the drawer. I'm gonna add it to a cart so it's standing up. But I've never had that happen and I've kept them in drawers for years. So I don't know what the heck is going on. But this packaging is okay. But the faceted packaging to me, to grab my attention, it has to be a color that's startling to me and that I love, that's very eye-catching. I don't feel like the sensual amber packaging is very eye-catching to me. I can barely remember. It's kind of gold. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not like, wow, let me go drop 20 bucks almost to get it. No. Okay, this, let me, okay, let me tell you what I think it smells like. Just in case you've never smelled it, because this is an online exclusive um, for Bath & Body Works. This is one of their older fragrance mist. It's a soft, warm, kind of smooth, woody, ambery, a little creamy, perfumey fragrance. This, this kind of reminds me, when I smell this, it takes me back to Avon perfumes. My mom loved Avon. She would get me perfumes from there and jewelry. And I just, we, I loved Avon. And I, I don't know why I don't think to look, because it's not easily accessible. Um, you have to find someone who's selling it or I, I don't even know if, can you get it online now? I don't know. I need to check that out. But if this sensual amber, if you loved Avon perfumes, especially it's one, I had a friend, I sold Avon as like, I was like, tween early teenagers my mom let me do it because i was trying to you know try to make some money and it was i think it was like a red bottle called imari or something i had a friend she was quite she was older than me but we were friends um and she would purchase it from me and this perfume is giving me well, this fragrance mist, I told you it smells like a perfume is giving me that type of perfume vibe but it's giving me that the good, you know, potent Avon perfumes. That's what it reminds me of. This is one that I felt like the sensual amber in this new faceted collection. I don't know what made them pull back and bring this one back for this collection because I don't see how it fits. It is a good transitional fragrance. But I don't think summery at all it's kind of one of those when you're in the mood for it fragrance smiths it's not one i would put in a particular season to wear but it doesn't fit to me with this and okay unless i'm looking at them is it similar to cactus blossom i guess so because Cactus Blossom to me is perfuming. So maybe. But this is the one I just felt like didn't fit. with it. This fast, this new facet collection was kind of weird to me. A hodgepodge anyway. It didn't have a, a, a theme to me. Except maybe two aquatic type of fragrances. And then two kind of perfumey fragrances. So maybe that's what they were going for. But this is like classic classy perfumey type of fragrance mist it has like a jamminess in there too it just reminds me so much of an avon 
perfume. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I love me some Avon. And like I said, if it, it stayed easily accessible, I probably would have still been shopping at Avon because I love, I just love Avon. I love Avon. So this is what it reminds me of. And will I be getting the new uh, version no I don't even think if it goes on sale because I bought two of these during last year's SAS and it's not one I'm just gonna constantly reach for and I already have a backup of it when I use this one up so I think I'm good for sensual amber but if you have never smelled it I would suggest smelling it especially if you especially if you're one that doesn't like to wear perfume this is a standalone on its own. You smell, it's perfumey, like a nice designer perfume. I thought Avon perfumes were high quality because that's what I'm saying. It reminds me of Avon fragrance. So I do like this one, but for me, I'm good and I don't need the new packaging. So those are my thoughts on Sensual Amber. Y'all, this fragrance mist, it's fifteen fifty. Do you remember those good old wonderful days? Okay, the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Underwater Oasis. This has notes of sparkling bergamot, jasmine, bamboo, marine notes, and blue musk. So this is one, again, I was like, how did they randomly decide to bring this one back? <laughs> this? is good 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 okay this kind of they don't smell alike but to give you an idea it's in the dna of aquatic fragrances of endless sea it fits that fragrance dna this is the epitome of shower fresh musk, pretty, unisex, super clean, but super nice. It's not just your average soap and water clean. It's that elevated soap and water clean with some like exotic tropical cleanness like you're on some bougie exclusive resort island and this is all the smells in the air with the ocean the freshness the salt the musk the the trees the just you know the bamboo just everything this is good good now this is in my project use it up because of the body cream. I would want another one of these because this is good. This smells, this is one of the best aquatic fragrance mist I've ever smelled. It's too, when I think of, well, when I just initially think, and I don't have, I'm not trying to think hard of, fragrance mist that i think are just so good aquatic fragrance mist underwater oasis comes to mind from bath and body works and santorini neroli water from victoria's secret which is an absolute love of mine those just immediately come to mind now do i have others that are really good because i can think of one from pink that i'm like that's really good but from bath and body works alone i can't think of an aquatic an aquatic fragrance that tops underwater oasis for me i i can't think of one they because they don't do them often in my opinion they do a couple maybe a year that falls into that type of clean watery aquatic type of fragrance but it's okay like fresh water fresh jungle rain it smells nothing like this um, it doesn't make me think, wow, it's the best aquatic fragrance. What are some other ones from Bath and Body Works? I can't think any, just, I thought of that one that was recent. 
I mean, you could say rainbow waves, um, but it's very fruity aquatic. This is just clean, upscale smelling, bougie, aquatic perfection. Perfectly unisex. I do want another one of these, um, but I'm not getting ready to get it anytime soon. Like I said, if there's a sale, $5.95 missed or whatever it's going to be now, I would get it um, because I do plan to use this one up. And the packaging, I really do like the packaging on the new Underwater Oasis. So that is one I would repurchase. But this, if you love a aquatic fragrances, this is good. This is good, good. Okay, the last fragrance we're going to talk about that they brought out for the faceted collection is Midnight Blue Citrus. So I, the notes I had to write down because they're not on the travel size. The notes are juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. So this was in a candle formation. I believe I had the candle one time. Um, I picked this up at Bath and Body Works using my uh, free item coupon for $9.95. And just as a side note, Bath and Body Works, I'm talking to you. You rose the price of the travel size to seven to 9.95 because you know that's what these uh faceted bottles are when you do it in travel size so you need to up the price for the regular reward um to 18.95 because that's i think that's your most expensive fragrance mist at this time so at least you could raise the reward price to that just saying so like i said this was in candle form i had it before i really loved it in candle form i don't know like i told you all with cactus blossom and champagne toast when i have a freight when i have a scent in candle form first sometimes it sometimes it just doesn't work with me where i immediately like it in body care and this is one, when I smell it, I think home fragrance. It's nice. It's citrusy, fresh. It's a citrusy, fresh, sweet, kind of fruity concoction. But I'm not loving it. So I was going to wait and I was going to... Let me see. Okay. Spray it on my skin with you all and see what I think. Because when I first smelled it, I was just like, this smells like something I would want in home fragrance. Not a, a, a fragrance I want to wear for me. So, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not grabbing me at all to want to wear on my skin. So I wanted to try it out with you all on camera, put it on my skin, and let me see if that changes my mind because that has been known to happen. See, on my skin, it smells totally different. On my skin, I like this. On my skin, that mango is popping. And you know, me and mango, we're not friends. Uh, because a lot of the mango fragrances that I've smelled, they're not sweet. This on my skin, Midnight Blue Citrus smells on my skin like a fresh, sweet, kind of salty, tropical mango kind of juice. Like, you know, like one of those good, like smoothies, like one of those healthy juice drinks, but they taste really, really good and smell really, really good. That's what this is giving me. So on my skin, I'm really liking this. So here's what I'm going to say about Midnight Blue Citrus. If you're like me, and initially sometimes with home fragrances that they decide to bring out in body care and you don't sometimes immediately like it try it out on your skin first and see what you think for me 
Again, it's not on that level I'm going to rush out and go get it because while I like it and I like the way it smells on my skin, I'm not enamored with it at this point. So with Midnight Blue Citrus, I will use this up and then I'll have to make my decision. Because sometimes you, I can come up with a combination that makes me, I love it so much, I want the fragrance mist just for that or those particular combinations. Whether or not if I initially, because some fragrance mists I love, I can wear them on their own. And some fragrance mists is just, I like them, but I have to layer. Yeah, this is one and it's fading kind of quickly. It's very soft now. This is what I'm going to have to play with. But I like it better on my skin, but I'm still not in love with it. So, I do think it's unisex, which again, anybody can wear what you, you want to wear. But for reviewing purposes, I like to mention that. Yeah, I'm not sure of it because smelling it from here, I'm getting straight up home fragrance vibes from the top. And then on my hand, it's like it's already disappearing so quickly. But I've, that's the case with quite a few of the newer fragrance mists from Bath and Body Works. You have to spray a lot and heavy because if I was the type that I depended and relied on my fragrance mist for my first scent, like if I wasn't one that layered and loved perfume and everything, you'd be flying through these because the newer ones just don't last a lot of them don't and are not as potent. Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna have to play with. I'm gonna have to play with because, and another thing, even though I like that mango note that initially I got on my skin, it's kind of like gone and I feel like it's just a citrusy, somewhat sweet, fruity scent like I was describing from the top. So we're gonna have to see, but in my opinion, Okay, first let me rank these. And I'm going to include these sea ones and sand too. So let's see, that's six of them. So coming in at number six out of the latest and I believe last summer collection from Bath and Body Works. <sighs> number six at this time would have to be Midnight Blue Citrus. Love the packaging, stunning. Love the color, but... And again, I'm not, none of these smell bad to me. I want to preface that, but this is one I'm not sure of. This is one I would have to play with and layer and see how I like to wear it because the scent profile is not grabbing me for body care. So at number six, I'm going to say is Midnight Blue Citrus. Coming in at number five is going to be Wild Sand because you bring out a collection with the perfume and everything but it smells so similar to some some other things you brought up before and just other the scent profile is is one that's very prevalent today so that's going to be number five wild sand number four is going to be I'm gonna, it's gonna be Sensual Amber. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm switching that. Number four is going to be Cactus Blossom. And I switched them because Cactus Blossom is number four because even though I like it, it is a fragrance. This is a fragrance mist and the scent that I get tired of quickly and easily now i'm not one that likes to wear the same thing every single day i've never been that way i get bored i like to switch things up i don't want to always smell the same like i will never have a signature scent I, the closest i got to it is when i was obsessed with britney spears fantasy perfume in my early 20s and what was it late teens well that and juicy couture viva la juicy those two are Mariah. okay it's certain ones that people could associate with me that I wore more than usual. But I'm not the type that I'm going to have. Like, my dad has a cologne that he has worn 
50 years. And I'm not exaggerating. I had to think. Because my mom, my grandfather, she told to tell the story that he wore that. My dad smelled it. And that's the only cologne we've ever purchased for him that he purchased for himself. He's been wearing that cologne for 50 ye over 50 years. Uh, when they were first met and everything. So... I'm not like that. And like my mom has a couple and she's one that she doesn't even like fragrance like that just because it annoys her allergies and sinuses. So my, to me, my scent profile, I will never have a signature scent. I just want my signature fragrance to be, you smell good all the time. That's what I go for. So this is one like, I, this could never be a signature for me. I said all that to say because I get tired of this. I get tired of fragrances quickly, but this is the way this, this scent profile is not what I'm in love with. I like it and I can enjoy it for a couple of days and then I need a break. So that's why I switched them because I just don't, it smells good, but it's one I get tired of smelling. I can't smell it again and again and again and again, back to back, word a week. It's just not that for me. So number four is Cactus Blossom. Number three is going to be Sensual Amber. And I put this, I was gonna put it at number four and then I moved it to number three because again, it doesn't fit unless you're transitioning to me, this just stands alone. It is so perfumey, so not fragrance mist at all, that it to me, it's kind of like, it doesn't go in a collection. To me, it's kind of just a standalone. That's what I, I think of when I think of sensual amber. So that's why it's number three, because I don't feel like it fits in this collection. And it's, it's of itself. That's how I think of it. So it's going to be number three. Now these other ones beat it out because I feel like it fits for this time of year. And I'm craving these type of fragrances for this time of year. So number two is going to be Endless Sea because this is so pretty. I might get the perfume if I like I without the if I if they don't come out with something before my 20% expires because this is so if you like what is that one um sea island shore if you like fresh coconut and cotton if you like those clean smelling just not even shower fresh because it's something in here that makes me think clean laundry detergent vibes, but not that harsh way. It's just airy, pretty, aquatic, clean, even like cottony must smell that sometimes I pick up in here. I love it. I love it. It's really good. Endless sea. Okay, coming in at number one, y'all, I'm sure it's no surprise to you, it's Underwater Oasis. The epitome of bougie aquatic and a fragrance mist. <sighs> this is one where if people will say you smell good because you're not gonna smell like a I think you get that vibe also with endless sea. You smell good because it's a difference between somebody saying, Oh, I, you know, I love your perfume, you smell good. I love all compliments that start with you smell that start with you and end with smell good love them love them but there's a difference between you have some people that don't like to smell perfuming you just want to smell like i take really good care of myself and i'm just a clean good smelling person okay that is what this gives me at the best highest level when i think of fragrance smiths with this dna this is one of the best aquatic fragrance mist ever. And what's so funny, I remember like, it's between three or five semi-annual sales ago. This is when I got this uh, fragrance mist and I kept passing over this one. I got the papaya one, which I used up. I have the pink one, coconut something that I have in my project, used it up this year along with it. Cause you know, it's time with the body creams. 
And I kept passing over this one because I was like, oh, I was going back and forth. And my brother finally smelled it. I was like, Shanti, what is wrong with you? This smells perfect. This is You would love this. Because you know, sometimes you smell so much in the store, which I've learned. Just get it and bring it home. And if you don't like it, take it back. Because in the store, can't always give you the true essence of the fragrance you're smelling. It, sometimes you just don't get it, especially if you're smelling a lot. And he said, just get it. You will love it. And he was right. He was right. I love it. Underwater Oasis number one. All right, y'all. So that's my review of the newest and what I believe the last summer collection from Bath and Body Works. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on any of the fragrance uh, fragrances I've talked about in this video. Tell me, are you getting them? Do you have them? Do you are you like perplexed with some of the fragrance mists they chose to bring back? I would love to know um, what y'all's thoughts are in the comments. Please share this video with everybody, y'all, because we want to keep growing over here. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.